Hello, my name is David Hearn and I'm the recipient of the Silent Book Contest 2020 Junior Prize. Now, being part of the Silent Book Contest this year has been a joy from the start to finish, particularly when I was informed that I was one of the final 12. To find out I was a finalist was fantastic enough. And then having a look at the other finalists and the work that they've produced, I couldn't believe that I was put in the same league as them. So that really, really boosted my confidence. I'd like to say congratulations to Rena Alec for winning, winning the judges prize. Her book is very intriguing and thoroughly deserving of winning the prize. When she won, I thought to myself, well, that's, that's it for me this year. I'll try again next year and see where it takes me. But what I'd forgotten was the junior prize. Now the junior prize, as I'm sure you know, is the prize that is voted for by school children. So when they chose my book, Nascondino, to be their winner, I could not believe it because school children is who I originally intended the book for. Now, I've always been drawn to silent books because while I know words are important, I think the story is usually more and more important. And with a silent book, you're not limited by words. The pictures on the page can bring different stories to different people. Children will tell their parents a different story to the parents telling the children. And, um, and in schools, you can discuss exactly what the story is going to be. You can see where the characters came from and you can discuss all of that kind of stuff. The only limits that you have is your imagination and people's imaginations just burst with ideas at all times. So I am delighted delighted to be part of the silent book contest this year delighted that the school children chose my book to be their winner so thank you once again to all of the children that voted for nascondino thank you to carthusia edizione for publishing it and a really really big thank you to the silent book contest for giving visual storytellers like me an opportunity to one day have our books in libraries schools and on people's bookshelves so thank you Thank you very much. Grazie.